This is a large oak. Ash? Uh, it's a large tree. What's up? I want to rent a room. All right then. But you have to pay two weeks in advance because I don't know you. Um, the town council will pay for the room. Is that so? That's unbelievable. Was it Damus drunk when he approved that? Well, none of my business. Here are the keys, young man, and we serve breakfast from seven to nine. If you steal towels, you will end up outside in the cage. Aha, uh -huh. that's what the thing is for. Very interesting. Hey, it's not what you think. I locked myself up to test you. You don't think this thick-head Olaf would notice if I stole a towel, do you? Well, I'll go take a little nap. <sighs> I'm dog-tired. Huh. It's the middle of the night. This is the time when the inhabitants of this town are supposed to be stricken by the curse. I'm excited to see how it affects people. By the way, I can switch between day and night any time with the heaven icon in the lower right corner next to the inventory. One click and it's broad daylight. Cowards. You are all cowards. I want to make a... What's up, Melvin? I don't have time for you because my existence is defined by ritual actions performed in the service of my customers. Have you been an innkeeper for a long time? Long time? Far too long. And I'll tell you what I hate most about my job. People asking me stupid questions while I'm totally stressed out. Not exactly crowded in here. Oh, I don't mind. That gives me the opportunity to ponder a few things. Don't you think that the fact that we exist does not free us from the necessity to define our being through actions? Uh, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. I think... Very good! And if existence precedes the being, then we are condemned to freedom as long as we live! Isn't that fantastic? It makes me so happy I could cry! See you later. Oh, it's you? What do you want? Should I turn you into a garden chair or a potted plant? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hmm, not yet, but hopefully soon. See, I have this powder here that will help to get the party going. <laughs> what did you do? Was that sneezing powder? I hardly noticed it. You're doing it wrong. Give it to me. The application of sneezing powder is an art that not everybody masters. <laughs> Why should I? What do you want to do with it? Listen, I would do something really special with it. I would use it on Valerius. and throw a load full of sneezing powder in the face. While the unsuspecting victim lets the day pass by sitting by the fireplace and ends up running around in the woods like crazy. 
You would really do that? Hmm, this doesn't convince me. It's not really funny. If you think of something better, just tell me. If you come up with a really good idea, you can have my sneezing power. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hmm, not yet, but hopefully soon. See, I have this powder here that will help to get the party going. <laughs> what did you do? Was that sneezing powder? I hardly noticed it. You're doing it wrong. Give it to me. The application of sneezing powder is an art that not everybody masters. <laughs> Why should I? What do you want to do with it? Listen, I would do something really special with it. I would use it on Valerius. And pour a load full of sneezing powder in a teapot. While the unsuspecting victim runs amok and ends up wanting to tear out tongue and nose. You would really do that? Hmm, this doesn't convince me. It's not really funny. If you think of something better, just tell me. If you come up with a really good idea, you can have my sneezing power. What are you doing in the tavern? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. You're underage. What are you doing here? Hey, I asked you first. But I'm older and wiser than you are. Well, at least I'm older. But I'm not so sure. Do your colleagues know you hang around in this dive? Ha! Here's another question. If you were me, would you tell me? I don't know why I should. See, that's why I keep my mouth shut. And I don't ask my colleagues what they're doing in the town hall at night. There are very few things in this world that I'm less interested in. Ugh, I could tell you stories. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Hmm, not yet, but hopefully soon. See, I have this powder here that will help to get the party going. <laughs> what did you do? Was that sneezing powder? I hardly noticed it. You're doing it wrong. Give it to me. The application of sneezing powder is an art that not everybody masters. <laughs> Why should I? What do you want to do with it? Listen, I would do something really special with it. I would use it on Valerius. and stuff a load full of sneezing powder down the pants. While the unsuspecting victim lets the day pass by sitting by the fireplace, and ends up crawling in the dirt. You would really do that? That's great. I bow before such destructive energy. Here you can have the stuff. I'm curious as to if you really will do all that nonsense you've been talking about. I gotta move on. Is there... Hey, Pee-wee, what's up? How's your mill? Well, milling away while I sit here and sip my milk. It's so nice to have the evening off. Do you like the tavern? You mean, do I enjoy spending my evenings with all these lunatics in here? No, I don't. I'm here because it's boring at home. The people here are stupid but entertaining. Unfortunately, there are hardly ever new guests. 
What are you doing here all evening? Oh, I just sit here and watch these weird nutcases. For example, Simon, drinking and spending all his copper coins on bets. Or Hocus, with his silly jokes. The other night, he stuffed a lizard down my shirt. Very funny. Surely the people in here get boring after a while, don't they? I guess so. I'd rather sit in my mill with a romantic lover and have him delight me with every trick in the book. Uh, I won't go into detail. There are no romantic lovers in this town anyway. Do you really only drink milk? Oh, yes. And I have my reasons. If a willing fellow should come by longing for a lonely heart, I wouldn't want to be drunk. Besides, well, let me put it this way. Alcohol has a very strong disinhibitory effect on me. I become very straightforward and men don't know how to deal with that. See you later. I don't believe... Sit down, dude. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I'm drinking myself stupid. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting close. Do you drink to forget that you're unhappy? Unhappy? <laughs> if I ever was unhappy, I've forgotten it by now. I drink because I drink. I know you. During the day, you're Upright Simon. Me? Upright? Sounds horrible. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. I really don't care about anything. Fancy a little gambling? Of course, dude. I love gambling, but I don't have any money. What a coincidence. Me neither. Well, then forget about it. Without money, it's pointless. There's no kick to it, then, you know? I'll be off.